So right now what we're doing is just making sure that the milk has got a nice texture to it. So we're going to do what's called uh, texturing or soaking or folding the milk. What we're, what we're basically doing is building a nice, uh, we're providing air to the milk and then uh, just also making sure that it's cycling through to get all the way through so we're getting the same milk consistency through the whole time. Which is going to allow us to have that nice uh, textured espresso and milk feel. Now we're just tamping out to make sure that we get excess air bubbles out. And just make sure that all our milk is folded so it's the same consistency the way out. Just up there. And we'll start with a rosetta. Oh, people love latte art. I think latte art is just, um, not just, it's a very important, I mean, it's presentation, as well as people look at it as sort of your present to them. People take it very personally. They love seeing their barista. And I, th I think what latte art, I mean, to your average barista, what it's going to tell you is that you know how to prepare milk correctly. Um, but to your consumer, what it does is it's providing an experience. It's giving them um, sort of the cream on top of their cake. There's a heart for you. Right there. 